and we're back with another edition of Cult Classic Neo Friends playing a little Metroid. I'm your host, Michael T. Chamborn III. I'm going to get us some high jumping boots in the land of Norfair. Rhymes with warfare. And that's what Metroid is all about. Actually, it's not. It's really all about. It's all about exploration and discovery. And really, to be honest with you, not to be honest with you, but to point something unique out. We always say to be honest with you when we get ready to say something unique. It's this weird colloquialism where we use that and it's and by no means what we mean. We, I forgot green was there. He tricked me. All green. What are we doing green? Oh, I'm telling you, you can die quick in this game if you do not have your act together. I think Metroid is actually, Metroid and probably the original Metal Gear are the games most responsible for me being a role-playing game fan. And even though this isn't a role-playing game, one of the core facets of RPGs, especially the ones I actually like, is this idea of being lost in a world, exploring to find things that you need to include experience points and skills from fighting uh, monsters and other things in the land. And that's something that you know, I think a lot of people take for granted, that they don't really understand that Metroid and Metal Gear, these games really set the foundation for that. Now, granted, you had Dragon Warrior, you had actual role-playing games, you had Ultima long before these games ever existed. Uh, at least I think so. I think I have my timelines right. I'm not, never been much of a, you know, until recent years, a big PC RPG fan. Uh, so it's not to say that there weren't any RPGs, but there really weren't a ton of RPGs on the NES that you could get access to. You know, you'll, you'll eventually get Final Fantasy, you got Dragon Warrior, which, you know, was Dragon Quest and Nippon. But other than that, this was about as good as it gets in terms of exploration and discovery. And I think that really set the stage for me as a, as a player of games in that I want that in everything I play. I want to be in a world where I like being in the world. This world's a little ominous, but it's also beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing and it's fun. Like, I'm getting ready to go get boots that make me jump higher. How's that not role-playing? You know, it's just not leveling up necessarily, but it still has the same principle. Now, I need to make sure that this young man is going the right way. So I need to go... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, I'm way over there now. We're good. I'm just checking my map in case you wonder who I'm talking to. <laughs> Inanimate objects for the win. Let's make sure this is the right door, ladies and gentlemen. Is this the right door? That is the question on all of our minds tonight. Uh, yeah. This has to be the right door because there's nothing else down here. Delicious. Alright, let's head to Norfair. Get into some Warfare. Now, there are guys that can, that'll tell you how to skip Norfair. Don't do it. Get in there and get all the stuff you need to win. <laughs> Don't be that dude that's like, oh man, I'm going to do this on my first playthrough and then Kraid. You're going to go to Kraid, and then Kraid is going to light you on virtual fire. How did you escape, Green? Not feeling that at all, Green. Feel like you cheated. Come on, hurry up and die. So you can give me an item, and I can stay alive. Big Green. Ah, I waited too long to shoot, but I still made it out of there. The platforming is also excellent on Metroid. I have to point that out. No... It doesn't get better. Well, I guess it could get better, but you know, you look at even modern games can't keep up with how well this game handles. I've played so many platformers in my life where I'm just like, this sucks. I can't wait till I get the suit that lets me screw attack these clowns. My skills are a little bit off. I gotta get my Metroid muscle memory back. You know, it's funny, I used to play this game every year. Like once a year I'd play Metroid and beat it just to keep my skills. Uh, I don't really do that so much anymore <laughs> because of time and having kids and having other things going on. Now, Norfair gets a little weird, okay, in that it's easy to get lost. It's easy to go the wrong way. I could have sworn there was a bomb spot there. Is it on the other side? No, maybe not. Maybe it's just normal. So where I'm headed right now is to get more missiles. This dude. So this is kind of like the big green guy, except he's purple, and he takes a lot more hits. But eventually we'll get the uh, wave beam, which will allow us to hit characters like this. 
much easier than we're having a time right now. Now, granted, you know, many of you may look at this and be like, dude, just use your missiles. I don't use resources that, you know, are in scarce supply unless I have to. Like, I watch people play Metroid, and they'll just use missiles like it's nobody's business. Not really my speed, but, I mean, if I had to, I would. Isn't there a bird here? Yeah, there he is. What's up, Red? Ah, how are you not dead after all that? That is a lot of shoot. I mean, look at that. Look at how many shots this dude is taking. But if you're just patient, you do what you got to do, you can win. Now, I wonder, though, can I get the screw attack this early in the game? I'm going to go check because I don't remember. All right, let's jump over and we're going to get hit there. Yes. Now, I don't remember. Now we can, oh, you know what? I think you need the high jumping boots to get across this ravine we're getting ready to run into. Let's see which way this is jumping. Jump, 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 jump. I don't know. We're going to try. We might be able to get screw attack here. I don't think we can. I think there's going to be like a high boot jumping situation, but we're going to check. And maybe we'll knock out two birds with one stone. A little bit. Of, you guys don't mind a little expiration, a little extra? Okay, that's exactly what I thought is it's this part. <laughs> This, uh, but technically, we could still make this work, though. And we could just go the back door to get the high jumping boots. What I'm afraid of is that I'm going to fall down here <laughs> and then not be able to get back up. That's my concern. But we're going to try, though. And maybe we'll make this episode screw attack and we'll make high jumping boots in the next episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it flexible. Right. Because I kind of have an order of march that I go through. And I just, I can't remember if I was able to get screw attack this early. Something tells me there's a wall we're going to have to need. We're going to need high jumping boots to jump over. And the reason why I'm taking so long to shoot this dude is simply because I don't want to have to deal with his crazy. If I go out there, he's going to attack us. Oh, come on, dude. Get your head in the game. Because it's not in there. It's out of the game. All right, the missiles are here, so that leads me to believe. Oh, you know what it is? You can't get screw attack. It's, I was misreading the doors. Yep. This is a dead end, or at least it should be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, at least we got some extra missiles out of the deal. And some missiles from a place that are a pain to get. So cool, we're still on our way to get the high jump boots. Still on our we Ah, missed the jump. Come on, dude. What are we doing in the streets? See, if you attack, he's going to come after you. And then it gets ugly. And now my concern, though, is this area is not easy to deal with. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Oh, look at your... Mm, I got the skills for the bill paying. Now, wait a minute. Before, why we're paying all these bills? Let's... Let's make sure we don't need to... Uh, nah, I think that's a dead end. All right, here we go, Johnny. Why did that turn off all of a sudden? That's strange. All right, let him fly off. And then... Ugh, my timing, I'm telling you. My Metroid muscle memory is off. But anyway, back to the high jumping boots. I remember playing this game as a kid. I always hated Norfair. I hated this area. Of course, I hated all the areas that weren't Brinstar because Brinstar was easier than everywhere else. Is Big Red still here? What's up, Red? I think now is the time to use a missile. <laughs> That's one of those times where it's like, you know what? Scarce resources or not, we've got to get down to business. Is it coming my way? No, it's going the other way. Excellent. That one should be coming my way. Yes. Very just the design. I'm telling you, like Nintendo's designers were the truth back in the day, man. The stuff that these guys came up with for enemy designs and level designs and everything fits together so deliciously. Like it, I'm not saying game designers don't have that touch now because I, I certainly believe that they do. It's just not the same, man. <laughs> it's Miyamoto and these dudes were the. Kings. Wait a minute. I thought I can make that run. Apparently not. I'm just running on clouds in the middle of nowhere. All right. While I'm running on clouds, let me make sure I'm running the right way because that's important. Now, what we have to decide here as I scratch my nose and try not to get run down by this white monster thing. 
There's another one of these coming up. I don't want to get hit by him. Now move quick, move quick. Jump up. There we go. There's an opportunity for us here to get another plethora of missiles. My concern... I don't necessarily want to go after them because what we have to do to get to them may be more difficult than I feel like dealing with. But... Oh man, wait a minute. No, this the floor has to be bombable here. It has to be. Because how else do you get to the boots, man? There she is. And then we'll have the boots when we come back up. Yeah, let's get the boots first. Because that's what we're here for, right? Not here to get missiles. We're here for boots. Now, this should be the high jumping boots arena. Yep. Oh, the dragons. The dragons. Oh, this gets lovely, too. And there's another one coming. We made it. We made it. Switch up. Yeah, son. And that's going to hit you, by the way. They always they get one on you. Booyaka! Ladies and gentlemen. So there's a lot we can do here for a next episode. I'm going to blow this up because I can't remember if this one actually lets us go somewhere. Yeah, it does. I think it's going to take us to... Oh, you know what? We might be able to get the screw attack from here, but we may need a... But we have high jumping boots. We got the boots, yo. This, these things are crazy. God bless America. Actually, I think even with the high jumping boots, you can't get up here. You need the ice beam, and we don't have either. Oh, please don't die. Don't let it kill you, Reggie. Reggie, please. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, uh, good God. This game is serious. Hurry up. Get in there. Anyway. Yeah, you need the ice beam to come back here, which we will get. Actually, now that I have the high jumping boots, I think the ice beam. But I think the wave beam is going to serve us better here in Norfair to get the rest. So the whole point of Norfair, what we're doing here, just to give you a quick synopsis before we move on to the next episode. The whole point of Norfair is basically to power you up. Most of the missiles in the world are here. You also get the screw attack uh, once you get enough of the abilities necessary to make it happen. Interestingly enough, you need to go away and get the ice beam and then come back to get the screw attack. And then what it does is it has you plussed up to be able to handle Ridley, to be able to handle Craig, the two, the game's two bosses before you go and fight the main boss, which is Mother Brain. So that's what we're doing here. In the next episode, my friends, I think what we are going to focus on is getting some more energy tanks, some more missiles, power-ups, and then going and getting the wave beam. I think that's going to serve us the best. And then try to clean up the rest of the missiles that we can get here uh, throughout the game. I think that's going to be our best bet. Uh, we've been, we've missed some missiles. We've missed some energy tanks. We're going to go get those. So basically, completing Norfair minus the ice beam, which then in the following episode, we'll go get the ice beam, come back, get the screw attack, and that'll... That'll have us on our way. Anyway, friends, it's been a great pleasure to serve you. I hope you've had as much fun watching as I've had making. God bless all of you until next time. And I hope oh, to see you soon. Peace. <laughs>